to the Mad Lab Preview Reaction Time! Yeah! Woo! So, ladies and gentlemen, episode 23 release are literally 30 minutes ago by the time I record this video. And you can say I am really looking forward to see how would it end the season now because we're now down to the final five or four episodes, man. Oh my god, time flies, isn't it? I think the season ends around episode 24 or 5 if I remember correctly, but... Yeah, you can say we're not cutting close, guys. We got another month left of ReZero, and of course, we had to say goodbye to Season 2 next month because, you know, you know, I don't know how long we can wait for Season 3. But yeah, you can say I'm really looking forward to see how we're the end of the season because if I remember correctly, in the opening, the first, from what I can see from the opening, the first, maybe the first half of this part two of season two, kind of like focusing on Emily's backstory, which last episode was a concluding part of it, where of her, you know, what made her give her so much grief during her trial. We also get to see how, you know, Geese became what he is in season one. Of course, it was a much painstaking moment where we get to see him accidentally kill Fortuna. And that was just painful, man. And of course, Pandora manipulated his memory, his, well, his mind, and making him what he is. And of course, trying to, Pandora trying to do the same to Emilia, but did not work because something blocking, maybe blocking Pandora from doing that to Emilia, but instead she erased Emilia's memory, Emilia frees the whole forest. So yeah, it was a lot of stuff happened from the last episode that kind of broke my heart, but in the end, Emilia, you know, faced her past, she, you know, she, oh, she trying to move forward with it, she's not gonna like, you know, cry over it like she did back in the, you know, the first half of season two, and now we can see what happened next for her, of course, but well, you can say she got another two more trials to go. But for this second half of the season though, what should I say, the final four or five, I have a feeling we'll be now focusing on Beatrice because you guys remember from the opening, Beatrice also got a lot of spotlight in it. So yeah, from the first scene of this opening, I mean of this opening of the PV and of course the thumbnail, I have a feeling we're now going to tap into what happened to Beatrice, what made, let him let her into, you know, into the library, what created the sanctuary because in order to going to tell them what, what, why, what is the purpose of the sanctuary. So I'm really looking forward to see how this PB go about to show us what's going to happen next episode. From what I can see though, Roosevelt seems injured or concerned. So with that said, here we go. 3, 2, 1, play. Oh, seems like he's in pain. Hey, oh, he's blushing over on Nekidana. What's going on here? Oh my god, people told me that that's not Roosevelt, but yet that is Roosevelt. Seems like he seems like my uh, the Roosevelt I know though, like the you know, same look. Why are you guys not showing Ekidana's face? Like what? What? She had a different face or something around back then. And as I say, I, I like the fact how Reese is doing the narration this time. Uh -huh. Seems wholesome to me. Seems very wholesome. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 wait, no way. Who is who? Is that Roosevelt? Wait, did she? So she has this clown side to her, evil side to her after all. Wait, what? He's injured? No, wait, wait, hold on, what's going on? Wait, what? I thought that was... No. No, wait, hold on, what's going on? Oh yeah, by the way, that, that last part of the narration though, by, by Ryu's, like, by, you know, speak, those two speaking together, dude, that's kind of creepy to be honest. Oh my god, yo, for a second I thought that Rosewell has, like, sort of, the, this sort of, like, darkness in him that he can transform, but turns out, two of them! Oh my god, what, what, what's going on here? Hmm. Okay, okay, yo. For a second, I thought Roosevelt like have this sort of nice side to him, and then but I think during a certain period of time, he, he turned full clown mode, which you can see right here. But no, this is a completely different person. Or is that his brother? Or is that his evil side that he chat in chatted out for him to go back to his body? Or is that something someone else that you know maybe fight Roosevelt, and then in the end, Roosevelt lose. He he combined his body with him or something. Oh my god, yo. Okay, hmm, it's gonna be quite interesting, uh, well, backstory episode, I, I think this backstory episode will either cover next, this episode and next episode, but oh my god, now we're gonna see how Roosevelt became what he is, the, you know, the one we know from season one and now, of course, the, you know, mixture of, you know, normal Roosevelt and clown Roosevelt, or just, you know, Roosevelt, but so what made him what he is, basically, and of course, we're gonna see what happened to what what will be coming for Beatrice in terms of what what made her into the you no know, stay in the library, 
And then the one thing that really concerns me is the the amount of time that Ikidana doesn't show they don't get to see her face. Like, dude, they all they all the first I can see is up to the nose. Oh like we leave and we know the nose. So is something going on with her eyes or something? She looked different, like you no, know, she have, maybe she have no eyes or something. Oh my god, one or just one eye or just you no, know, she looks different. Oh my god, I'm kinda curious though. But she you knows her body looks the same, pale, pretty much big boobs. Um, but okay, what's going on here? Do, are you guys purposely leaving out her, uh, her upper her part of her face just to have a, like a shock factor or something? Oh my god! See again, like, up to the nose. Like something's going on with the eyes, right? It has to be something going on with the eyes. Oh my god! I can't wait to find out. Maybe it will be some sort of shock factor, or maybe. Uh, that is not Ikidana. Hmm. Oh no, no, that is Ikidana. To be honest, I've been confirmed by that. But oh my god, that could be maybe something must have happened to her. Did make a change of pain again? What's going on? I, I love my girl's eye. Oh, oh my god! Don't tell me she have no eyes or something. Or her eyes is different. Or she's a she has a completely different face before she became the, the very witch. But then we have this man. What? The hell? Who is that? Who is what is, is that? That look like Rosewell in his clown form, like literally. Huh. Hmm. Now he looks kind of sus. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, you can see we, we may cover the first half of the episode. May see Rose, uh, no Beatrice, Rose, and Rosewell having some fun time together. Uh, this is this you know, so, seeing the chemistry. What what make Beatrice like kind of like follow Rosewell and. So, oh, is that I've been told that that is Rosewell, but that's not Rosewell. I was like, what, what is that supposed to mean? So, um, yeah, also maybe this also would let to what created the sanctuary and what made what you know, you know what sort of secrets he's hold, hold, you know, hiding behind his back. That's the world does not know. Oh my god, maybe this uh, this episode can finally answer a lot of questions regarding to the sanctuary and Rosewell's actual backstory, what made him what he is. So, and also, 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 we can find out what happened to Ekidana, like what, what you know, uh, you, you know, got her into the sanctuary, you know, the the whole sanctuary, what killed her, and got her soul trapped inside this sort of like grass uh, window XP world. So, yeah, oh my God, this ev this next two, one or two episodes is gonna be quite interesting indeed. And what made Rizu frozen the seven zero ice and create clones, and Ekidana to create a multiple of those clones? Oh god, this is gonna be quite an interesting episode. And I, I, I need some answers with the face, by the way. I really need some answers with the face. So, really looking forward to this next upcoming episode. Emilia's backstory is not over now. Now we're gonna focus on Beatrice's side of things. Now we can see what led her into the library and what made Rosewell what he is, too. So, it is quite interesting indeed, man. Can't wait for it. So, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction today. Smash the button, Joe Russian. So, remember 10, learn something, and I'll see you guys then.